This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out RWA and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show 696 episodes we've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And holy crap, not only have are we approaching the Big 700 Club, have, are we celebrating our 14th year, our 13th anniversary. I think we have all the math right this year. And um, we also have podcasts now officially across three different decades. That's crazy. That There is one for you. Not too many out there, except for the one that somebody reminded me of that, that started a couple months before us. Thank you, Mad Mike and Beacon New York, I'm sorry, for that one. I only speak the truth. Harsh and my mellow. <laughs> How you doing? Sure. You know what they you know what they say. First is the worst, second is the best. Uh okay. There you go. That's that's yeah. pretty much Apple's model. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Also with us back in here, Ronnie Starks. Hello everyone. Fresh off of uh uh commentary duties this weekend. Uh, <laughs> beer and color commentary. Probably beer not the best idea we ever had. Beer, bear, and uh beer's bear and, and color Battle commentary. Star Galactica, or- <laughs> Battle Star Galactica, yes. There was a large bear involved there was. in that tag match. You guys didn't get the video of me uh body slamming the bear and giving it the elbow drop. When did you do that? When I don't know. I literally picked it up, slammed it, gave it the uh, Ric Flair elbow drop. Was it on the outside? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's push this aside for a second. Listen, it was a lumberjack match for a tag team match. And Ronnie's worried about me doing uh, me getting him on commentary with a bear when there are literally 25 other guys out there that I have to pay attention to and see who's important <laughs> enough to get the one ringside camera that we have. Are, are we going to mention how no one caught uh, Garrett on the dive? <laughs> uh, mention it. We made a gif out of it. Oh, all you can hear is boom. Like, I've oh. seen worse. I've seen worse. Uh, also with us, Chad the Shad back hello, with us. Hello, hello, the OG, hello. the original. Um, the... Uh, 2019 Mayhem Fantasy Football Champion. The, yes, the 2019 Mayhem Fantasy Football Champion. No. You know. You will address me as such. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there's a prize. I don't know if we talked about it on this show. I can't remember. I would feel like it was a Monday night thing. Mm-hmm. But now he gets, as soon as uh, shipping and handling gets uh, uh, worked out, he gets this wonderful, shiny yeah. new 24 7 champion. Wow. Well. So that he yeah. can be the Mayhem Fantasy Football Champion 24 7 11. This thing looks legit. I deserve it. it I earned is it. Pretty legit, actually. And I had to beat. Uh, who did I Who did I play in the oh, finals? Oh, oh you know who you fucking beat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. You know who you fucking beat. I did. Okay. Mm-hmm. I did. <laughs> there it is. Uh, but <laughs> this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We've done this for a very, very long time. So I'm going to act like. I actually did pull my show notes up to help me through this first part of the show because I completely did that the first one of 2020. Anyways, you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form. Look us up on your favorite platform for podcasts and video content. We're on a lot of them. If you're missing from them, please let us know. And where can you find out? Uh, where can you let us know? How about that email address? Good times. Good times, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I'm sorry. I was, wait- I was looking for Mike. Mike has left the building. Like, I just, where, where'd he go? Uh, okay. Mike has shit to do. Oh, I, I get it. Okay. We're just doing a podcast here. Um, oh, was that email Doc Remini had? Or <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we did double check. <laughs> we did double check that uh, we could, um, um, you can still email anything you want at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Um, <laughs> like, give me a DM mayhemmy at uh, wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Like Mad Mike was uh, was cheated in the fantasy football at wrestlingmayhemshow dot com not cheated uh, or whatever the case may be. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I wasn't cheated. I wasn't cheated. Okay, 
I, I will say that. I wasn't cheated. Um, I just made a tactical error mm-hmm. when setting up the league this year. Okay. And, okay. And the ultimate opportunist swooped in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you, if you look at Chad's roster, Chad did not have a single starting wide receiver. <laughs> Well, I, I had DeAndre Hopkins, but they wouldn't let me drop him, so he just sat on the bench. All right. <laughs> Anyways, I lost one game this year. You can let us know what you think about uh, their their fancy football lines of upset uh, on voicemail at 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show, and check out the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and a Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group where a lot of great discussion is happening and stories uh, that we are talking about and sharing and memes a lot of times, too, uh, throughout the week. Um, also, you know, we are here, of course, every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live, and we're on a lot of other things too. I mean, maybe you're ch- checking us on the Indie Wrestling US uh, Twitch or uh, the Periscope or uh, YouTube, but a lot of the conversation is happening over here on the uh, Facebook page, so please join us here. If you're checking us out on another platform or later, please uh, tweet us at Mayhem Show with your thoughts and comments with the hashtag WMS696. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Uh, supporting the show here, of course, our fr- fan of the show level, our friends Bo Diggity, Woo! Ed Berg, Bob Gift, J Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammer Fist, the Poppy Club five dollar level, our friends at Bradley Ruthers, Doc Remedy, Dave Podner, and Kyle Turner. At the Pizza Club level of uh, thirteen dollars is uh, Ryan Clark and our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling at the twenty dollar manager. Uh, go check them out at Occupy Pro Wrestling dot com and their fine back catalog of podcasts in Chikara in fifteen minutes or less. So what was what was it? We uh we uh so we're we're fourteen fourteen years in. This is our fourteenth year, I'm sorry. And what I I, I, I I dropped a comment before the show where I was like, hey I wonder how many wrestling careers or how many wrestling careers in NXT were longer than? And there's a lot that have been around for a while. I think Adam Cool, guys like that, Johnny Gargano's definitely was running before Wait a minute. Johnny Gargano might have been just getting started when we were getting started now, I think about it. Because we didn't see him in IWC until, what, 2007? Mm-hmm. Maybe? So, uh, who knows? So, so... Uh, <laughs> Low-key still. Low-key was wrestling. Low-key was wrestling at the time, and he was still a few years into that. He's still... Um, is He, he is Low still key. with Impact, I think? Ricky Reyes. Ricky Reyes. I believe he's the professional now. The professional Ricky Reyes? No, uh, no, no Loki. Oh, is he? Yeah, he wears a suit and he calls himself the professional. I, d- I was not aware of that. <laughs> and that sounds like somebody else that's doing that. Yeah, but one of them's talent and the other one isn't. Oh, <laughs> oh. Um. Anyways, um. We. <laughs> I so so I I thought it'd be fun if uh if uh we, well, Mike and and Chad oh Mike left again. Uh, well, there he goes. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, but <laughs> if uh Ronnie Ronnie has learned lore with us for a while and, and and bits here and there so i was wondering if, if you guys could uh, uh think of some uh fun um stuff that maybe he doesn't know about over the years pertaining to the show pertaining to the show some stuff that we've done on this show <sighs> in the great lore we shared last night the the mayhem voicemail from 2008 that mike and mike still has on his mm-hmm. phone by the way there there is really the uh the uh, McMitches. McMitches. Are yeah. you aware of this, Ronnie? No. Okay. What's um, the McMitches? We uh, <laughs> we would go to the McDonald's down on uh, uh down the corner, and uh, it was a <laughs> terrible service. So we would uh, call and we would call and leave uh, voicemails on their number. For the for the restaurant, but they were just uh, we called it McMitch's because uh, we didn't want to. Oh, we had called the manager because we had such bad service. We called the manager the one time. Yeah, yeah, and we're like we didn't like how it went. Yeah, so we started so, making up how it went. So then we started just making our own calls. <laughs> Meanwhile, we were a wrestling podcast still. Yeah, and this is just something that tended to happen. Yeah, we called in and had some characters and locked. We locked employees in the freezer and whatnot, and <laughs> mm-hmm. like that's or Jessica. The, yeah, the, man- Jessica, the manager yeah. took it out on the employees by locking them in the freezer. Yeah, like Jessica, and, <laughs> and it kind of had its uh, natural progression. And I think uh, we called him Mick Mitch's because Mitch was the manager. And he said <laughs> yeah. he was taking over, and we didn't want to. Uh, 
<laughs> name the actual restaurant. Officially defame the restaurant. You know? yeah. <laughs> that may have a lot of money. Even though, like, is, yeah, we were very early Is that on, place so. still in business? Yeah, it's still there. Oh, it's it's a lot better than it used to be. It's been remodeled a couple times. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. So sure. they got our memo. Yeah, they got our yeah. oh, that big time. Yeah. They got our memo. Yeah. So <laughs> that was smaller even freezers at your other house, or yes, yeah, yeah, the other the other place where we had a back room where we started the podcasting. Where this started as as a streaming show, actually, off of a server, a shoutcast server in my back room. Talk shoe. Talk shoe. No, <laughs> talk shoe was this it was the <laughs> old host. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's what we we're streaming on. Right? You know, I had a conversation with the new CEO of Talk Shoe last year. <laughs> Because I was very upset because they deleted everything off of TalkShoe. They had an, a server error, and anything beyond two years old is gone mm. on TalkShoe. And not only that, like we we didn't just do Wrestling Mayhem show on that platform. We did a lot of like experimental shows. I mean, like we tried stuff out. Didn't you like? Right. Weren't you doing like a was that you chat that was doing an FX Mayhem show? Mm. I felt like you were maybe you or Bobby or somebody. Like, uh, like the, the like the FX shows were like I don't know if this is a Sons of Anarchy we, days. If we did, it was a one off. Oh yeah, you did like one like of them. Just, we had yeah. somebody that left uh, uh, voicemails that were so long they just turned them into their own podcast, <laughs> uh, for better or for worse. <laughs> Level five podcast about heroes. There's yeah. a he- yeah yeah there was that short lived one. Um, all of my old interviews with the Cottonmouth Kings and Head PE were gone. Uh, I got them somewhere around too. I should repost those actually on YouTube or something. Um, but uh, yeah, I love YouTube's like any video ones are up there. So so thank you, Talkshoe, for not helping us celebrate the 14th. I'm really glad we moved off of when we did because <laughs> we would have been know. we would have been screwed. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, man, I was gonna give you guys a shot, but then you delete all my back content. <laughs> so eh? so I don't know. Um, there was the Stoke Monkey. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stoke Monkey. Um, I mean, you say was like it was a past tense. He's still around. He still yeah. pops up every once in a while. By the way, Sorg is Stoke Monkey running for president this year. Um, I think the statute limitations on that Coke case is uh, uh out. So, That's what I'm uh, he even got uh, I Justine to don the. We did. Uh, monkey. We, it was well that, that's really surreal because i was just watching i justine do something from ces where she's mm-hmm. checking out like a automated car concept experience concept um you're like what do you do when the car has no steering wheel and everything and and i'm just like that's the same person that we had do promos for wrestling mayhem show and we're with a, a monkey it, head with the monkey head yeah <laughs> It's even weirder for me. She was a victim in Law and Order SVU. Yeah. Yes. She went to my high school. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, she used to sleep under the computer desk. Yeah. During yeah. class. Not yeah. her class, during a class. My yeah. class. She would just get up, like, Ugh. and I was saying, it was like, she's done, like, like she does, like, these Call of Duty videos and stuff. And, and she was, when I, two, three years ago, when I was at the Game Awards, when mm-hmm. I actually went to the Game Awards, yeah, she was a presenter. She's like up on the, like a little, That's the gotta little be thing up there, and she's talking to, I think she was up there with Keely, mm-hmm. and I'm like, this is fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> There's Justine right there, up there, you know, broad, is this talking you, about talking it, about the awards and stuff? Is and this like, where you you wish that you were you were a little nicer to her in high school? I was nicer. Yes. Right? <laughs> and then, like when we went to pod camp that one time, uh, she actually recognized me before I could say anything to her. Like she just mm-hmm. she already knew who I was, which is I was like. And this is post the. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> and this is and she. Like, I guess her 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 first bit of fame came from the um the iPhone bill. Yeah, like it was a stack because back when uh, AT and T would just list every single text as a line item she on got, your bill. Yeah, she got a, and this is when the iPhone first came out. She got a bill that was like this big. Yeah, it came in <laughs> it, a box. It came in, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, and that was like her launching pad. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing that really. I mean, she was on her way, anyways. I think for she, the stuff she, she was, was doing, but she was. Um, but I was always nice to her. How you? How dare you? <laughs> anyway, I wasn't nice to her. I was. It was more of like a. Uh, you're the, she's the, I think she was a, I was a sophomore when she was a junior. Okay. So it was more like a, you're, you're the, you're the pretty blonde senior girl that like, <laughs> why would I ever like think I could talk to you? Right. 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 <laughs> and she was always really nice though. Mm-hmm. So she was never like the stuck up version. But 
So but it we, was always just that like oh, you're too pretty to talk to me. So <laughs> so there, there I'm ugly. Why don't talk to me? <laughs> I should not be talking to you. I'm sorry. I will leave. So there was Stoke Monkey, um, that was running for president and made many appearance on our wrestling show, which had very little to do with wrestling. Um, I think Jimmy DeMarco had worn it at one time. Maybe maybe Marshall Gambino. There were uh, the, yeah uh, after Jimmy DeMarco wore it, didn't you have to get it sterilized? Yeah, I had it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you told me about that. You missed those. Like Ronnie Stark has missed out on the violent era of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Oh, so I have to bring uh, the, violence uh, back. The, the chops, the commercial, the uh, the Apple versus commercial. Oh yeah, we did Apple versus commercials. These yeah. are all still on YouTube, by the, the way. Whole series. Yeah, um, WWE versus TNA. WWE got, versus TNA. <laughs> we should honestly do this again with WWE and AEW. I got well, I got called so many names. Why from commenters on that? Oh, and it was like the bloopers or something too. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like wasn't even the one. It was like the bloopers. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Like the not the one where where we thought like well, there was one about how uh, WBTNA thought Sheldon Benjamin and Jay Lethal were the same person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you know, like things like that. Uh, so it was it was a lot of fun. Can we bring this kind of stuff back? <laughs> like, seriously, they would be real fun. They would be yeah. good. They would be good. Um, let's see. There was a well one walking Phoenix or walking wild. Damn it. Thank you. We were talking about Joker before this. Um, DJ Z was uh, Baby Batista, <laughs> in which a video I found and shared recently. <laughs> uh, but I think it was him, Facade, and and Demarco uh, came to the studio drunk after our show was done, and they said, "Hey," and and I think Shima had for the first time shaved his head, so he looked like Baby Batista, and he was starting to get pretty jacked too. Yeah. I think because I mean, it might have been one of his like just before one of his first runs at Impact. Um, and I, I hope he gets to do the Batista thing with Xavier Woods or the rest of them. Oh, me too. So that's something I think about all the time because listening to like uh, Gregory, you should repost that and tag Woods in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you really should. Um, check it out like 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 the Gregory Iron and Johnny Gargano interviews, and they talk about how like when we interviewed Dr- Johnny Gargano, he had like the Shawn Michaels stand up on his wall, and he talks about how Shawn Michaels like painted on his wall, and now he's his trainer. And there's, I, I love the table for three. They're talking with like Adam Cole and um, I forget who the third one was, but they're like, do you think Shawn Michaels knows he's Shawn Michaels? I want to say it was Ricochet. <laughs> yeah, Ricochet. That's right. And, and and I think about that now, which is like, okay, when does DJ Z get to meet Batista? <laughs> <laughs> and, well, it'll be at Mania, I would assume. Probably be at Mania uh, if uh, you know Batista can always pop in for a Hall moment. of Fame ceremony. Hall of Fame ceremony. Fame. What's that? He, he's he's, a, he's already being inducted. He's the headliner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Like the yeah. They have. They, they really did that early, didn't they? That was like in December. Oh, I mean, they that's, it. that's his and Dana Brooks' first date. Oh, good. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure day of the Hall of Fame is their first date. Oh, jeez. And they're gonna have like cameras follow them around and shit. Uh, Twenty four. Bobby of J Town's recalling a moment where he used to play Call of Duty with I Justine, Heinz Ward, and Mikey and Big Bob from our local Kiss station. I was post Heinz Ward apparently when I popped on there, so. That's good stuff. That was that was oh, it was hilarious. That's good stuff. Oh uh, boy. Uh, anyways, well, it's it's been a long time. We have, I, I still I still recall, and I don't know if anybody does this, but I recall when we had somebody um start listening to the show and start messaging us um, and they had been listening. They went back six months. That was me. No, 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 no. This was the guy that was in Portland. Oh, that was the. Oh secure- yeah, I did have to go back six months. I think I no, went no. back two months or something you were, probably went back two months and you were at the beginning of the show yeah um but no this guy just generally went back six months this was like maybe 10 years ago and i was like dude why are you going back so far and he's like yeah i'm a security guard and all i do is walk all night i need something to listen to so <laughs> you picked the right the, we, the right thing and we were regularly two and a half hour shows Let's uh see. i think at the time so. yeah oh yeah i used to listen to him while Marathon i was in the shows. um while i was in the lab like in my clean room I'm so glad that we've helped people pass time in their mundane <laughs> chores <laughs> over the years. If nothing else, that's our flame of fame. We, like, hey, you got some cleaning to do? We'll help remember, you out. Uh, there was that one guy who was from, um, he was from down south. I forget. He he was he was a regular contributor to the show mm-hmm. for a while. Steve, maybe, or something? Okay. He was a Florida Gators fan or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and just like popped in and like sent us emails for like a year. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they come and go. Now yeah. you guys are all in chat rooms. Right. I mean, that's kind of the evolution. Brian Chappelle. 
Brian Chappelle, yeah, yeah. Has his own uh, podcast now. That's right. The... An- Antonio Garza was just oh, at Wrestle Star- Kingdom. Garza was at fucking Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Um, and that's a cool thing, too. I, and I've said this probably multiple times over the last year, but it's cool to be able to, like, now that I'm traveling for work, to be across the country and, hey, let's catch up with Alex. Hey, let's catch up with Eamon. Eamon. You yeah. know, um, Eamon, who's somebody we literally watched grow up on the show, <laughs> yeah. was and, like, uh, what... And- May or may not have stifled his growth. We don't know. I don't know. We did. He, he got he got pretty battered when we went to Cleveland. Yeah, he got. We we were pretty mean. That Chikara <laughs> show was not good to him physically. Uh, so Vimmel, Vimmel, uh, our friend from England that, that that visited us after our first year of the show, which <laughs> that's wild too. Which is still that dude is like, hey, uh, hey, can I come hang out? <laughs> hey, it, sure. If Vimmel never did that. I never would have come to Pittsburgh. That's true too. That's true too. <laughs> like sure, Vim, we're we'll pick you up from the airport. Me and uh, me and Doc Remedy picked him up from the airport. That's right. That's awesome. And we've never yeah. seen him. <laughs> well, and there I was, didn't even know who we were looking for. Like, and I think was, that's our guy right there. There was a moment where you're like, all of, all we've done is emails. All we had was MySpace back then. Uh, so mm-hmm. you know, people weren't sharing a lot of pictures. Um, yeah. You know, easily right. because we didn't have iPhones yet. We had right. flip phones, maybe. When, when Remedy picked me up from the airport. I legit forgot what he looked like. Mm-hmm. And we, legit did not know his real name. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I was walking blind. Mike, <laughs> Mike, wasn't it like the second time I visited you in New York when I was like, oh, by the way, what's your last name in case I have to like look you up or something? <laughs> I or think, I, 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 What's that? Oh, he's coughing. I, I, I think so, yeah. Um I still remember the first time I met Dutters was when her and uh, Ginger just came up to New York. Yep. They they just drove up to New York. First time I met them. Like, luckily, people had vouched for me, apparently. But it's very this is This is a safe space for, for uh, strange women to go to in New York City. But <laughs> <laughs> what was that? For tall people and short people. For tall people and short people. My, Mad Mike was like the mayhem waypoint uh, up that way. So. And yet I still have never met Eamon. That's right. <laughs> he was so close. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He never told me. I remember meeting Mike the first time. I think you guys came to my work when I was at the at KB Toys. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just like walked in. I'm like, oh, hey, look, I, think, I, guess, I guess that's Mike. I know everybody else. <laughs> he was a stranger. I was like, hey, going to IWC tonight? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cool. I'll, I'll see. You. I got to wrap up work here. Oh, boy. Well, why... straighten up a little bit. What's that? I feel like I helped you straighten up a little bit at work because I was like, oh, we're kindred. Probably. We were getting crushed. Yeah. I remember like uh, we were just getting crushed because mm-hmm. it was, it was, I, I think I got a truck in like at that time. So it was just like, it was it was busy. It was busy. Awesome. Well, we've had a lot of great uh, moments on the show. I've talked with a lot of great people on the show that have, well, it, it, watching Monday Night Raw, <laughs> watching WWE is kind of like, oh, yeah, that guy. Oh, yeah. Hey, Elias. Hey, Corey Graves. Hey, uh, 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 Walking Wild. and Hey, Johnny hey, Gargano. hey Raymond Rowe. Hey, Ray Rowe. Eric. Hey, Ray Rowe. I watched you almost destroy hey, Ray, bro, you destroy doc life. remedy yeah with a bear claw to the chest for his birthday oh yeah oh yeah yeah oh, tattooed him man yeah. <laughs> which is ironic when you think about ray row so um so ronnie it's only a matter of time before we see you on the tv uh, someday. <laughs> someday this will happen someday. enough about forensic files Hi-yo. hey <laughs> maybe you too will be a victim on uh law and order svu dun, dun. <laughs> Is that show over? Did I, I don't know. No, it's still, it's still going. Still of course, on. it is. Oh, yeah, it's still going. Special victim units will go on. Never ma- law and order. Generally, males aren't victims on that show. Ah, uh, they've gone sideways on that a couple of times, right? <laughs> a majority of the time, the males are not the victims. All on, right. On this. All right. All right. I'm currently unless they're on the... unless they're children. Yeah. What's that, right? I'm currently waiting on info about being in a cheesy horror movie. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's... <laughs> it's going to be another pro wrestlers versus zombies. Oof. But I, I told them I want to die a horrible death. And okay. They're, and they're like, okay. Okay. So that's the idea. Rev got to die a horrible death. Did he? Yeah, he was in Castle Rock. What? Yeah, on Hulu. Yeah, that's right. Rev was in Castle Rock. I have to was, watch that. I didn't know. He that. was a um a uh, uh guard at the jail. 
Um, I didn't. I watched the first episode, so I got to see him in the in the lineup as the guy was coming in. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I guess see. Uh, spoiler alert: uh, he bites it by the end. Oh, I have to watch he's that. Like, then. You know, he's like you know random uh, random jobber that uh, gets taken out by whatever that horrible thing is in it. No, but that's cool though. So he was. What's that? I don't. I don't know. Did they go <laughs> Pennywise in Castle Rock? I, I thought it was Pennywise, or like the guy who became Pennywise. It might be. That and, might be. Uh, fellow cameraman Rom's been in a few uh, movies. Yeah, Southpaw. He was in, which I think also had Kurt Angle. Was that, or am I thinking different? I'm thinking Warrior. Yeah, Warrior. South, which he he Southpaw. might have also popped in. Yeah, but uh, Southpaw was that what Steve Carell and no, that was Foxcatcher. Okay, I think he was in Foxcatcher. Yeah, he's been a few of them. Yeah, he's been in some uh, some, some movies too. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the place to be. It is. <laughs> it is. I did see Jason Momoa a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's crazy how you were saying that. Everyone's like, just... yeah, yeah. Well, 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 we got we got the. Uh, we also interviewed the Rock stunt double. We did interview the Rock stunt double. Got beat up by John Favreau in Iron Man Two. Oh, he did. Yep, that's him. No way. Yeah, yeah when um. The scene where um, Happy is taking Black Widow to um, to uh, stop uh, Whiplash. Yeah, yeah. Like Black Widow takes out everybody, and he and Widow he's with the one guy John Favreau punches. That's him. That's that, our. That it would be Toa from the American Gladiators because we decided <laughs> since Hulk Hogan was on American Gladiators, we should interview the Gladiators. Mm-hmm. Sword. And That's awesome. Via MySpace, got two of them. Yeah. <laughs> or, technically, we are a part of the MCU. Technically, we're part of the MCU. <laughs> Technically, we're part of the MCU. So I'm gonna say by, by rules of you know the Kevin Bacon six degrees. There it is. There we, it is. We uh, by those type of rules, yeah, we we connect. I actually only have one degree of separation to Kevin Bacon. <laughs> hmm. You know, I just realized this is our 14th year, and we just watched Wrestle Kingdom 14. We, so we're Wrestle Kingdom. What's that? We're as old as Wrestle Kingdom. We are as old as Wrestle And what? And only go half as long. And only go half as long. No, we're, yeah, we're not. I don't know. Between Mondays and Tuesdays, we kind of uh, already do the two nighter hey, thing. The new part one and part two, Mondays and Tuesdays now. <laughs> it kind of is becoming it, isn't it? We're just extending it into Mondays. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, because we used to do. Oh, well, this was a fun fact. Back in the day, because somebody said that they lit, they would burn. They, they complained because our show was too long. Because they would burn our show to a CD to listen to it on the way to work and school. So we split the show into two parts specifically so you could burn it to CDs. Specifically for one person. Yeah, it was, was one for one person. But then like I would hear from other podcasters. Yeah, you should do this because some fans will do this. Mm-hmm. I heard about this um, a couple of years ago. Somebody was doing it for a while and in some cases sending CDs to some of their fans. That's pretty cool. That's crazy, yeah. but you know it 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 worked back. I mean, it was 2006. Not everybody had a something they could hook up to their car to listen to a not podcast. A Zoom. What's that? Not everyone had a Zoom. No, not everybody had a brown Zoom. Whoa, I remember the Zoom. <laughs> I had a Zoom before I had an iPod. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, speaking of uh, all these years and people that end up on TV, it's really cool to kind of see all the people coming up in indie wrestling, and that's why. We got indie wrestling dot new dot network, uh, any wrestling dot network, indie wrestling us dot network. Excuse me, I got a little bit of a head cold. Uh, where there's a lot of great content going on there, and the first show of 2020 is in the books, guys. As far as this goes, Black Diamond Wrestling, Ronnie, you were a part of that. Ronnie was on commentary. Mm-hmm. Ronnie did a fantastic job on commentary. Uh, it's sarcasm at its finest. Uh, Ronnie did a job on commentary. I shit on commentary <laughs> it might have a little bit it got a little weird for a moment i'm just like do you know there's a moment when i'm editing sometimes and i'm like should i edit this and save these people from themselves I no think you just shouldn't have put it on there i think you should just what <laughs> what like me doing color commentary just don't even like add like i shouldn't have i shouldn't have let you sit down we could maybe like just redo the color commentary nah, it's out there it, it, it's out there. Right. It's out. That's all right. Not putting it up. It's hey, hey. It's better than one thing that went out that I got kind of uh, cornered on this weekend. It's like, why did you leave that in there? I'm like, well, that's what the guy said. Uh, anyways, there's a lot going on. Um, you can go check out the Black Diamond and a New Year Nightmare uh, mm-hmm. over there on the uh, Indie Wrestling Network. Um, so please go check it out. There was a lumberjack match, a lumberjack tag match, that involved a stuffed bear. <laughs> 
I don't even know where that stuff there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was this it was this. I I don't know, but. Well, you know, I completely forgot about the stuff there at one point, mm-hmm. and uh, Chess Flexor had to come up to me. He's like, "Don't forget about the stuff there," <laughs> and I'm just like, "What stuff there?" And he's like, "How many have you had?" I'm like, <laughs> "I'll get the goddamn stuff there." So I like had to like move like the uh, the barrier, get the stuff there. Everybody's like, "What's wrong with the stuff there?" I'm like, "I don't even know." Yeah, yeah, and everybody was talking about it on commentary, and it's just like, "Okay, all right." <laughs> uh, there was a chain match, a chain gang match. Ugh. Yeah. Chain- uh, that went down. Um, and, of course, you can check out a free match on our YouTube and our Facebook page for IndieWrestling.us between Troy Lors, Chess Flexor, and Thomas Mathis. Um, so some friends of the show there. Um, uh, and Troy Lors did have pants on, mm-hmm. for those wondering that watched that episode. Uh, do so. you want me to share the picture of Harley T. Morris's head? Of his head? Yeah. I, I did see his head because he had a pretty good gash oh, on the yeah, one yeah, side, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think I, I, what, we were talking about, like, he didn't really get the bleed that much, but he, he, the chain shots to the face <laughs> left a few marks. How stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go see that. It's over on IndieWrestling.network, part of your free trial if you're a new subscriber. And, of course, we got um, the last year's um, anniversary shows for Rise Wrestling uh, as well as a Prospect Pro Wrestling uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, and of course, uh, this week we'll be filming new content for Rise Wrestling and RWA, uh, the 11th anniversary for RWA, actually. So looking forward. I, I don't even know how many specialty matches there are on that. There's like a multi-man ladder match. There's a cage match. There's a fans bring the weapons match. That's probably just going to be all there's, hot dogs. Yeah, and there's a um, dog collar match. There's a dog collar match, too? Jeez. It's like RWA remember, remember the, remember yes, the, the <laughs> kind situation of the, the managers are handcuffed together. Oh yeah, like John is it like John Roden and Papa Peacock or something? Once no, not Peacock. Dino, Dino. Some, somebody's handcuffed to um, feel bad. Oh, okay. And then somebody else is handcuffed to somebody else. Oh, is it Roden and Alexa? Yeah, uh, and then. The two in the ring have. The I'm box. sorry, I just I just woke up. Everybody's Cic- Amazon Cicero, docs. Cicero and yeah, they all they're having the Jeez. actual uh, dog collar match. Wait, hey, like we're talking about they are consistent. They are they're they're ama- like, and this is this is their big one. Ooh, there we go. You're going away. Go check out all that IndieWrestling.us. And he's fading away like yeah. a Back to the Future picture. Fade away so and classify him as obsolete. <laughs> obsolete. Uh, awesome uh anyways there was some wrestling this past weekend we did get uh matt carlin's views on wrestle kingdom last night and uh given a little chance for anybody else to pick up on chat did you watch any of uh the wrestle kingdom or highlights mm-hmm. or anything i watched some some clips and highlights and stuff here and there but <laughs> what is happening now wait 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 wait. what are you showing me ronnie did you make this is, is that is that the good guys with power rangers yeah. when did you make this <laughs> You just did that now, didn't you? Holy shit. Show the camera there. I, I don't know how much they can see, but it is... Uh, your camera's over there. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's your camera <laughs> there. Hold, hold it still. Um, it's the good guys doing their pose uh, with the Power Rangers. I'm sure this will be all over their good guys' Facebook that very soon. Is the greatest effing thing I've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he just sent me that one. What else did you send? <laughs> but wait, there's but more. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Wait, we'll, we'll, will you send me? Inbox that shit. Anyways, Ronnie, I know you watched uh, uh, what all of Wrestle Kingdom yesterday, uh, right? I am still on uh, day one. I have one hour left. Oh, <laughs> which means you have one match left. Yeah, there's like six hours of wrestling. Oh, and yeah. Then, I got to watch uh, when I get home tonight. I'm going to finish the last match. Then I'm going to start day two. Mm-hmm. And uh, I already watched uh, Juice and Thunder Liger's last match. Okay. So I already got to that. And then it, I think it was like one o'clock in the morning when I was watching it, and I found a uh, <laughs> found a live stream, <laughs> and uh, sorry, sorry I didn't pay for it the first time around, and um, at, right after the match it just froze, and then oh. I guess you guys had that problem too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, the, the Jushin Tiger brought down the internet, uh, as, as he should <laughs> so, because he's a fucking legend. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I mean, all of New Japan World uh, was gone, like erased from the internet for like. <laughs> 10 minutes that's crazy so that's like we picked up halfway through the uh the next match which was the junior tag team match um championship match 
So, because I like uh, Matt was here, it's like, did you see this? Because he watched the replay the next day, mm. and he's like, did you see this move? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, oh yeah, that's when I was trying to get it to work, you know. So, which that is incredible. I've never seen New Japan do that in any in all these years of watching. And I've watched Wrestle Kingdom live for, I want to say I started with twelve. Mm. It, no, it was before twelve. No, it was like that. it was like ten or nine. Well, I think Wrestle Kingdom nine was when we started watching. Yeah, yeah. I don't and I don't know what, you know, what happened that they did something where they were starting to do English commentary. Mm. Maybe JR was involved or something and uh and it was just like, okay, you know, AJ Styles probably right. Um but that that was kind of the I like seeing Jeff Jarrett at a Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, it was Jeff Jarrett was there, so it's like, okay, what's this? Like they caught our attention somehow that year. That's on my uh my bucket list is to go to Wrestle Oh, Kingdom. absolutely. So I think one year we should just go to Japan, dude. <laughs> Even if it's not to work, we should just go to Japan and go to Wrestle Kingdom. That's right. Yeah. Well, you just well, you just bring your bag, right? You did the wrestling way and be like, hey, guys. Well, I just walk in the locker room like, yeah, so who am I working in there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like that, but. <laughs> You'll find your way. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't think that would really work out for you, Ronnie. No, yeah. no. How are you with the language? I mean, I can get a uh, Japanese for dummies. Well, you know. <laughs> can learn it'll work out just fine but um <laughs> well, what are your thoughts so far with it like what do you how do you feel about the two-day format uh no to the two-day format yeah that's too yeah. much it didn't uh day one didn't feel like wrestle kingdom no at all day two did but day one i'm like okay it's just a normal uh, new japan show like but in the tokyo Dome. yeah that's how i felt yeah and i was just like all right like this this works i guess um how did you feel about the liger out i i mean I didn't want him to lose two days in a row. Yeah. I thought he would win Saturday night and start in a high note yeah. and work his way down to a low note. Yeah. But like the general role of anybody in professional wrestling, everybody wants to go out on their back. Yeah. And I think that's what how he felt like he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So that's, I respect that. Mm -hmm. Everybody does, you know, I'm not gonna be like Liger. That was a bad idea, but cause I'm like, <laughs> who the fuck am I? But Liger, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. That's what I said. I'm like, I'm like, no, I love it. I respect it. Like I, I think it, like I, I think for Americans like you know he was always around like he he, oh, yeah. he was on WCW shows I think did he make an appearance on WWE at some point I thought. I watched him wrestle Tyler Breeze live oh that that's oh, right that was at NXT I'm that's right that was his only WWE appearance match wow yeah I saw him I saw him with New Japan when they came over to Philly okay all right. Uh, he wrestled Kenny Omega. Oof! Wow, that that card was insane. I'll look yeah. it up because I look back and I'm like, oh, well, I didn't realize all these people were on this card. Like at the time, I was like, I don't know some of these people. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting how many people I saw at the uh, like when they did the New Japan crossover with Ring of Honor here in town. Yeah, and I was like, oh no, I've seen Suzuki. I've seen this guy. You know, it, it, as I'm going back through. Um, so it, it, it is kind of weird to do that. Hey, how long did we, did, was it before we realized that Pete Dunn was somebody that Rizzo interviewed back in the day, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that we had to pull dust off that interview, right? Right. And right. we're like, wait a minute. Remember those random British guys you interviewed? That's those guys. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one's, uh, uh, what, oh, what is that? What's that? Was it Mark Andrews? Mark Andrews. And we're like, Hey, he's important too. So Mark Andrews is good. it's weird how that works out like that. But um, I, it was um. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not disappointed. I no. mean, because once you get through all of it, like, like it, it fucking delivers. Yeah. Right. Um. It's like great. We got like three nights of John Moxley instead of just one. Mm -hmm. Right. We got um. You know, uh, the way the title picture worked out with the uh, uh IWGP Heavyweight and, and Intercontinental mm -hmm. titles was great. Uh, the Naito story, uh, the Moxley stuff, like it was. I know. I know the whole Kenta thing. So um, the Kenta thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm all in on the Kenta thing. The only thing, and we talked about this last thing. The only thing that was weird to me is that we had the interruptions, and it felt like that felt not Wrestle Kingdom to me. Yeah. So. It was weird. So, but I, I think they're uh, this is this is post elite New Japan, and I think they're feeling it just as far as uh, going to their Western audiences. They're probably feeling it just as much of bring it. Well, probably not as much as, uh, but they're probably feeling it like Ring of Honor is now, mm -hmm. right? There's a little bit of a pinch there. Um, you know, maybe they've seen their U.S. numbers drop mm -hmm. with uh, the absence of 
uh, especially Kenny Omega. Mm-hmm. So because well, they are it, launching a New Japan US brand. Uh, yeah, yeah, because we need another brand in this country. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I would yeah. think uh, NWA is launching two new shows. So, mm-hmm. I have a question for you guys. Though. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Jericho kept saying in interviews that he wanted all the egos to stop, and he wanted New Japan and AEW to work together. Mm-hmm. I personally don't think it's a good idea. Um for reasons I've stated about AEW, they're still a fledgling company. They're not running on all cylinders mm-hmm. yet, in my opinion. I mean, match quality-wise, yes. It's it's great. It's phenomenal. It is. But pacing of their shows, storylines, women's division, like there's still a lot of stuff that needs work, in my opinion. I don't think adding something like New Japan would help either product. Well, to me, um, you've had... Issues with Ring of Honor as a show as well. Mm-hmm. But they benefited greatly with that partnership with uh, New Japan. No, they didn't because mm-hmm. then they'd run months of shows that had nothing to do with their main storylines. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, so yes, something it, along it, that doesn't help them. Great matches. Mm-hmm. But as I, as you know, it's the ABCs of me, you need more than great matches to be a great wrestling show. Mm-hmm. Because I can see great matches literally everywhere at this point. Mm-hmm. Literally mm-hmm. everywhere has great... Raw has great matches. We may not always like the show, but Raw has great matches. Mm-hmm. Like True. You can see great matches anywhere you want at this point. You need something else to be a hook. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think... Uh, was, is there a word about the American brand being on like Access or anything? Like, Do they have a TV deal? I don't think so. No, that we yeah. have... I mean, I'm sure there will, by the time they get here, they probably will be. But I thought I heard the Access show was going away. So, but of course, they have Impact now. So they're maybe they're just making room on the schedule, right? Um, we can't have three wrestling shows on one on one thing, I guess. There's too much wrestling as it is. There is, and, and it is funny because I, I see that same conversation happening at um, that the national level as route as well as the local level, and it's kind of the same conversation. But it's kind it's kind of like well. Oh, but fans are finding it, and we'll see who shakes out in a couple years, right? So if, if everybody finds enough fans to keep a, keep above board, then why not to a certain degree? But uh, I don't know. I, I think it's, hey, if you don't like AEW, you don't like WWE. Mm-hmm. You know, It's weird to say it that way because it used to be, hey, if you don't like a, you know, WWE, you have these other options. Mm-hmm. But now like if there's like, well, if these guys don't like AEW, it's like well, there's more options for you. Mm-hmm. There's even more options for you. So, I mean, some people are, NWA is the greatest thing right now. It is. And the way they shoot NWA, they may not need a lot of fans. Somebody says, when's NWA getting a TV deal? Will they? Yeah. Could they not just get away with a YouTube deal? Right. At this point? People would watch it. People are wrong with that type of show. No, they're doing pay-per-views in that, in that, in the, I believe a cable access studio. Mm -hmm. When I looked up the venue. And because I, I got the ticket information, because I was kind of curious about it, and uh, for the tapings, and I was like, "This is it says public access." Yeah, look at Lucha Underground. Yeah, yeah, but that's Hollywood though. That was in Boyle Heights. Like that is like, yeah, but I mean, this is an obviously a different version, but it's mm-hmm. almost the same type of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of thing. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit lower budget. A well, little bit lower budget. Yeah, but in the vein of the same type of style. Okay. Whereas okay. it's it's a it's a show mm-hmm. that's not it's not in an arena you know it's not touring it's not money you know. yeah yeah so it's interesting and they, they they do do have their um it's weird to see other footage in their intros and it looks nothing like the week the week because they've just been doing nwa stuff like everywhere yeah. including ring of honor so it's like ah okay can we talk about the rock and roll express winning the tag team titles oh, they, they did yeah, didn't yep. they oh they sure did yeah. yeah i don't know how i feel about that i know exactly how i feel about that yeah that happened on the pay-per-view didn't it sure did yeah yeah I, uh zach didn't pop for it so i don't think oh he, uh, listen he was if zach party. hunter isn't happy about the rock and roll express winning the nwa titles there's a problem he didn't bring it up at all during the weekend and really i guess like, i'm not gonna talk about it then like uh-huh and usually he talks about nwa nonstop. oh yeah because he's like we're gonna get booked at nwa i'm like <laughs> 
<laughs> sure are, Zach. We sure are. There was a conversation about getting footage for the uh, what was it, the Circle Squared show that they're doing, yeah. which is I guess going to be like WWE or yeah, like tough enough for them maybe. Yeah. So although I'm, it's out there. They have it. Oh, they ha- it's out. It's so there. what is the show? Uh, I don't know. They didn't send us anything back. <laughs> <laughs> but but the show is out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm kinda... well, no, I mean. The information, everything we send to them, they have it. Right, they have that. But I, I, I was just saying, well, like, but what are they doing with the footage? Because this is just a look at you to do a show. Yeah. Or are they going to take all that footage and make a show? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of illegal taking other people. That's what I was sort of thinking about that when because they t- said about how every, how everything needed to be like labeled a certain way and everything. And I'm just like, what are you guys doing with this? You know, right. there was a question mark on you it. You can't really steal other people's footage. Listen, man. It's indie, you know, listen, man. You've been yeah. you've seen indie wrestling companies <laughs> do things. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> there's I don't know how many people was like, hey, can I get some footage so I can do a DVD? I'm just like, mm, well, are you gonna give me some money for yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that work, buddy? Yeah. Uh, so, but I mean, it's you know, it's like just because it's your likeness doesn't mean you own it. Listen, wow. man. We all downloaded MP3s <laughs> just because they were there on the internet. Uh, Look, uh, man. I was fifteen the, years ago, I was the king of Napster. Yeah, time, I mean, man. I mean, I, I, we, we, I, I, was, I was the Kazaa king in college. Uh, you well, had you that go. LimeWire going on, man. Uh-huh, you know how many viruses uh-huh. I got off LimeWire? Yeah. yeah. I, I was actually using uh, when I was in high school. A buddy of mine was downloading MP3s illegally and making me personalized CDs so I could use them when I DJ my sister's friend's parties <laughs> Jeez, that is a long way around that is he, awesome. he gave Great. me this for free because i advertised where people could get them oh i remember back in my day i would turn on the radio and i would put a uh, a tape deck in there and record the music off the radio back in my day back in your day jeez there, there was one time when i was in high school i was randomly flicking through the radio dial and i found a wrestling talk show on the radio. Really? This is no joke. They had a trivia contest. I called in and won an autographed picture of Rob Van Dam. Nice. You still have it? I think so. Somewhere. You need to find it and hang it on your wall immediately. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't have a lot of wall space right now. I had it. I had it hung up in my apartment in the Bronx. Cool. Uh, to clarify, the the Circle Squared uh, apparently the first episodes were recorded uh, back on December fourteenth through sixteenth. <laughs> so guess we didn't get. No, I guess he didn't make yeah. it. Well, that's maybe awkward. maybe round two. <laughs> Who knows? Well, Who right. knows? Well, they're lost. You know, NWA um, could have had the good guys. There was somebody that messaged me and was just like, "I'm like, do you are you sure that's the match you want?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I guess there can't be two uh, Starks. It's hard. Of, it's hard for me to say what's your best match when I'm asked, but the, when I, like, well, uh, when I see one, I'm like, eh, that one is that. You could sure what you want to say? Favorite. What's favorite. that? You could say f- favorite. Favorite might be better. It's hard to do that. Like one guy that asked me has been around for as long as we've been doing the show, and I'm just like, dude, where do I start? You know, <laughs> I mean. I, you know make them one of those my sacrifice videos <laughs> <laughs> my sacrifice oh jeez oh jeez i i st- we need those we need those coming back yeah we need those to come back like honestly <laughs> that's what made me a fan of creed there is yeah. the, oh wow hey hot take. i don't care wow hot takes hot takes guys hey you know what's also undisputed is our uh our friends in in the pizza industry have been around. You said I'm disputed immediately. I'm just like, I'm sorry. Boom. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Our friends at Slice on Broadway, sliceonbroadway.com here in the Pittsburgh area, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, Beachview, Carnegie, uh, East End, PNC Park, all around town. If you are not around, we are continuing our unofficial expansion. Actually, I heard that they are kind of expanding into not pizza. Uh, <laughs> so, oh. new location. May not have pizza. Uh, yeah, the guy that owns it has, has a family history of doing uh, uh, food-related ventures. Okay. So um, it's, it's a neighborhood thing. 
pasta you know on the, Broadway. The best way to get that pizza. How's that? You just go up to the door. No. And then you just no. kick it. Ah, you just kick it in. Yeah. And you tell them the mayhem show sent you. No. And you're here for the perfect pepperoni Stop pizza. Stop it. I've, <sighs> been, I've been retraining everybody not to do that for like six no. months. Oh, and you just wiped it away. Wait, you mean I can just go up there and kick the door? No, like, don't do that. Pizza? It's a glass door. You can't say you gimme. You said I'm here for you tell them, Sork sent me. I'm no. here for the perfect pepperoni pizza. I'm doing it. Or there'll be mayhem to pay. <laughs> you kick the door in. Is it a push or a pull? Don't matter. <laughs> I'm, kick, I'm kicking it in. That's exactly right. Depends <laughs> on which location you're at. Please investigate before you oh, can, it. You can make every door a kick in door. Uh, <laughs> I'm kicking geez. it in, baby. I think it's a pull at PNC Park. Oh, man. It's a push. <laughs> it's a park, though. There's a lot of security around. <laughs> or as we used to say, put your foot on the door, gently push it in. Oh, there ain't nothing gently about it now. Oh, no. uh, boy. <laughs> No. I'm going to give him a slice on my Broadway. Insert your foot Wait, no. in a fast and hard 90 degree angle right at the door. Yeah, just, you know. This is how we you do ads. Getting in the door at the PNC location, the pirates may sign you. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse. And then yeah. uh, immediately uh, within two months, trade you away to somewhere else. Yeah. Yankee. And you'll win a World Series. So kick in the door at PNC. There's Man. nothing but upside here. PNC Park, all places, sliceonbroadway.com. Hey, we're going to go uh, to a quick break. You're going to hear from uh, Dutters. And also, you're going to listen to something that Mad Mike brought up last night, where he played his voicemail from when he won a Mayhemi in 2008. And this is from the Monday Mayhem wrestling wrap-up show I added an extra word in there because that won't be hard uh so check this out check this clip uh here from dutters and we'll be right back with the big question sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com I know. Wow. That, I, I've had that on my phone for 12 years. <laughs> 12 years. Oh, no. Big question. And Sorg, I also have an email. What? <laughs> I went digging in my archives. All right, we'll do that for a late segment. We'll get yeah. to the stay on the mayhem bursary. Yes. As I said, the big stuff's going to be It's upsetting. our anniversary. I had to look up an old email. I'm not even going to tell you, there you who it's from, when it's from. Oh, You're just going to have to be surprised. I'm going to bring them balloons and confetti. Yeah. And little blowy thingies. You know what I'm talking uh, about? I sent a request. <laughs> I don't know. Are, are they like the low blows? I don't know. No, you don't. Know. <laughs> what are we doing? The, the, uh, the kazoos. And we're the gonna, kazoos uh, and stuff, you know. We're going to have a big party. Yeah, a big yeah. party at 700. But yeah. this is the mayhem anniversary. We're just... Nice. Talking about old stuff How right here this was a good show. on the Mayhem Show. You guys just listened to an old voicemail that Mad Mike uh, uh, brought up last night on the show. Uh, and it's time for the big question. It's time for the big question. And the big question is, I think we're, we're doing a little bit of it. Um, what was your first wrestling show? And what was the significant thing from that wrestling show? All right. Because 14 years ago, uh, we all first started going to indie wrestling in Pittsburgh, apparently. Oh, <laughs> right, it was the first year of this show, it all kind of came together. My, uh, Can I start? Yeah. 
all right, I'm digging in my. Are we talking about indie wrestling first show? It can be uh, one or the other. I'll give you my first WWE and my first indie. Uh, my first WWE show was a house show, and I went with my dad and his friend and their kids. Uh, it was when The Rock was in the Nation of Domination. That was back in what, like '98, something like that. So that was my first WWE show I went to. Mm-hmm. Uh, my first pay per view was King of the Ring, and that's when you know mankind got thrown off the, the fucking hell in the cell. Uh, my first indie show was in 2003. Uh, I got introduced to uh, Sean Patrick, and Sean Patrick, who everybody says is my father. Yeah, everybody was calling. <laughs> well, you started calling him Dad. <laughs> Yeah, we're at KSWA Saturday night, and he just like take care of this dad. <laughs> I'm like dad, <laughs> no, like, every, everyone does call him my dad, but he calls me his son. Mm-hmm. But um, he I got introduced to him by my friend uh, JD, and uh, we were Primanti Brothers in Harborville, and Sean lived in uh, Springdale. Mm-hmm. So Sean would pick me up, and he would take me to PWX. And this was around the time where I was supposed to start training with. Um, can't remember his name, Nikki Dalloff, because that's when he he was the head trainer at PWX. Yeah, and uh, I went, and the first person who I became a fan of was Chris Taylor, and his tag team partner were they NC Seventeen or was it? I don't know those years. You don't know those. I years? don't know PWX history at all. All right, yeah. I I knew nobody that came out for the anniversary show. Yeah, like. I, I didn't come up for the anniversary show either. So yeah, well, uh, you did you. So, but, but yeah, uh, no, no, I, was, I, I just simply uh, was not aware of any PWX okay. history, and uh, just for reasons. But uh, I am a, uh, I'm a big, or I was a big Chris Taylor fan because he mm-hmm. reminded me of Chris Jericho when he was younger, and uh, he came out to "Natural High" by the Union Underground. <laughs> that song was fucking sick. Yeah, it was. And uh, I, oh, every time we have a conversation, I always bring up the first time I met him. And him and Crystal Frost, because they were, she was his uh, manager. And now I'm good friends with Chris Taylor. So there you go. Yeah. Um, let's see. My first uh, wrestling show, period, WWF, I think it was 2000. I thought it was earlier, but I looked it up again. It was like 2000. And it was the weekend where Taz had the ECW championship on the WWE on TV. Show. He had just won it. He had won it at ECW. Yeah. He came out the next week on SmackDown with it on. Mm-hmm. He did not have it on after the show, mm-hmm. but that was the first time that I think I, that's where I got my Jericho Holic shirt. First indie show. I, I I think for the longest time I did cite uh, IWC is that IWC point point two is my first indie show, but technically I had been to several because I had not thought about JCW. At the gathering, mm-hmm. and the first year was um, Vampiro and Sabu on the final day because it was two days, I think. Yeah, I think it was still two days, and it was at the Toledo Convention Center, and um, it ended in a riot during uh, the last match <laughs> or the last the last set for ICP, um, and we all ran from tea, tear gas basically. That's awesome. But uh, so there's that there was that experience. But um, it, it ended in uh, Sabu and Vampiro for the JCW title. Everybody, the first time I saw everybody get into the ring and watch it collapse. Um, mm-hmm. Also, managed to get myself and my friend into Pro Wrestling Illustrated, maybe uh, that was doing a feature on the wrestling that weekend. You can see us in the crowd. Nice. So, and then of course several gatherings afterwards. Two thousand three, four, five, six before seeing anything here in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. I was living in at least Pittsburgh adjacent since 2001, maybe. So mm. I don't know why I just never picked up on indies at the time. I think because we were just so brainwashed to believe in like WWE and WCW. It just never got on my radar yeah. until I saw yeah. like the IWC program on like WBGN. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, what's this? When AJ Styles was the uh, for me, champion? I, I first when I saw it, it was um, they were playing. The Super Indy 4 where McChesney won. Mm-hmm. So I remember I turned it in. I was like, oh, that's Christopher Daniels. Like, oh, who's that? You know, and I think we were just getting into TNA and everything and talking about stuff on the show. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, what, 5 probably had just happened. And we didn't start going until uh, I ran into Jason Gorey at a dope and mushroom head show. Well, I mean, it was just dope. I can't remember who, if that was the uh, – I saw them twice. Uh, he's wearing a two dope fuck off shirt. <laughs> and I was like, hey, you should check out this this uh, wrestling. I'm like, all right, sure. And we, I talked Chachi into it, and 
then you guys came the next show i think mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that was the um really brutal super hentai choi lords match right after uh pod camp yeah right well, okay it was a day of pod camp we went to the wrestling show yep so we never went to the after parties so yeah mm-hmm. what about you what was your first a few of the after parties well i know the pod camp after parties. oh no yeah never went yeah yeah a couple of the uh uh, carriage in after parties. Those were the days. Those were those. That's guys. when Cole Cabana told me I looked like Edge, and he was going to call Adam because he had him in his phone. <laughs> and he was going to tell him about it. Was it carriage in where we sang Captain Planet with Johnny Gargano? I thought that or happened. Was that, on... Or was that the other place? That was probably carriage in. Okay, and maybe also on the show. Yeah. So it might have been on the show too but i know it was impromptu at an iwc after show mm. yeah i think it's the only because like because him and i think shima started singing it <laughs> like by themselves <laughs> and then everybody like and they him. were and they were loud enough but they got to the point where like the bad guy chimes in and he screams you'll pay for this captain plant and i just screamed it and they stopped and froze and we're like who the fuck said that and then they came over and we all finished the song. <laughs> and those are the special moments you can have at indie shows. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, thinking about, let's see, my uh, my first show, it's kind of hard. I, I, I'd have to really dig to see when my like, first WWE show was. But there are two, well, three, but two main ones here in Pittsburgh I definitely remember. One, um, I went by myself to a show at the Civic Arena and it was the show before SummerSlam Hogan versus HBK. Whoa. Because I took the sign that said I took a sign that said HBK and it was Hogan butt kicker. And Pittsburgh's <laughs> a notorious pro Hogan crowd. So I was like I had floor seats. I was nine rows back from the, the commentary bench. So I had this sign and there there's people booing me and I'm like I'm like Hogan sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like hbk is the man and then like think that's when they had their like debate or whatever uh-huh. in the ring and stuff uh-huh. and like i remember that that was uh the only i'd never been on the floor either at any event that was the first time i got to see hogan so yeah that was nice. i thought that was cool because i it, have never seen hulk hogan really yeah. you went down this tiny staircase to get down I to the floor yeah, in, in yeah. civic arena because yeah. it was like all old and shit. yep Yep. I don't know if I've seen Hogan wrestle. Uh, I have definitely not seen him wrestle, but I I, I might have when I, I was a kid. May have seen because I, that was my first time seeing him. Then I saw him at the Impact uh, or TNA taping in uh, IUP. Oh, I've seen him at TNA. Yeah, yeah. I may have I seen think. him in some random tag team. I saw him in he Philadelphia when they Bound for Glory. He faced Sting at Bound mm. for Glory. That, that's for shit. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that pay per view. Let me tell you. At least I had a good conversation with Don West when he was selling merch, though. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> was it about Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards? No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, okay. it should have been though. It should have been. I, I hear he's <laughs> swimming in those. And then, and of course, of course, Mad Mike. We know. Oh no, is there more Power Ranger stuff? It is literally Zach's face on uh, Green Ranger <laughs> <laughs> and Noctis <laughs> on Jason's body. You're having too much fun back there. Can you make this a thing, please? Like, um, Sorg. Uh, like, this needs to be something they sell. Like a printed thing? Yeah, yeah they oh, need geez. to sell this one. Oh, do they? Another good oh. one, Sorg, was uh, Armageddon. Oh, jeez. When me and Sorg went to Armageddon here in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And, Not uh, the barbed wire cage? And no. That was no way out. That was no way out. This was Armageddon when Edge uh, had the Edge heads. Yeah. <laughs> and I told Sorg, I was like, Sorg, look, as soon as we get to the arena, because this is when I had like long hair and everything. I was yeah. Like, Sorg, whenever we get to the arena. And I think the, the Madison Square Garden thing had happened. Yeah. Where we had everybody chanting for <laughs> and you. And I was like, listen. We Sorg, had like 200, like, 300 people so in the don't, Yeah, I was like, you don't understand, yelling Sorg. for you. There are people who think I'm Edge. Yes. <laughs> so double take. And I was yes. like, I was like, when we go get tickets, I was like, just look around and notice the people who would double take at me. Uh huh. And like who will go out of their way to look at me to make sure they're not seeing what they you know what they think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, you and probably we counted could have snuck in as a third major brother. And we were oh, in, we we so counted we counted uh what was it 
like 30 times before we got to my got to our seats uh uh-huh. and like <laughs> there was like three people in line when we were getting nachos that double take then one person was like man you really look like him I'm like yeah i know i just want to get to my goddamn seat <laughs> <laughs> like i get it i get it yeah i know i know i know and then the edgeheads were there for that title defense for Edge, and then he sort of like, "This is perfect." Uh, we had well, we had the section chanted for you a couple of times, yeah. And then they came out, and like me and like the people yeah. around us were like, "What are you doing? Get down there!" <laughs> yeah, I was like, "I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go to the bathroom." <laughs> wink, wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, it's like you, you could have been down there. Like, yeah. yeah. So yeah, and oh. then yeah, then then of course is the Royal Rumble in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, that's yeah. just. All now, around, it's, it the best part I think was how everybody hated Rey Mysterio, oh <laughs> and everybody loved Edge. And I was like, "Oh my God, I'm amongst my people!" <laughs> I ne- I didn't expect this. The Edge is a hero. Yeah. I did not expect this. Is amazing. And then he won. He retained his championship. Like this is the best day in the world. <laughs> and then the everybody hated part, John Cena. Oh, it was perfect. The the best part was when we were in the concourse. Yeah. Um, Remedy just randomly grabs me he's like we're lifting him up i'm like what we're yeah. doing what now he had hoisted up in no time I'm like whoop, whoop, whoop. i'm above everybody <laughs> and just chant chant edge oh, i remember saying God. something like john cena's terrible and he lost tonight but you know what edge edge didn't lose Woo! <laughs> I have a little bit of the edge, footage here edge. for you guys. I if took, you, uh, I took a photo moment. with a Japanese. There family. he is. Everybody is chanting on the streets of New York, "Edge, oh, Edge, Edge," edge. and he's just making oh all God, the movements. How... <laughs> this one guy gives me a hug, or yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy's like taking yeah, me a hug. Hey, just hey, like, hey, nice. He's on the phone with somebody. Dude, he's like, you look exactly like Edge. There. Yeah, like that's crazy. It, I took a I took a picture with like a nine person Asian family, <laughs> and I'm like oh, I'm on like some family's mantle. They're like hey, we met Edge that one year. Well, I'm trying to find the other sure. one. <laughs> sure. Oh jeez. Oh, um, yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, I can't find the other one. We'll find it later. Yeah, all the fun we have at the Indies. We've always had fun. Sorg, I I found the card from the first ever Raw I was at. Oh geez, because you, so it was always Raws that you'd been to. Well, that's what they taped. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Poughkeepsie, New York, was once a hotbed for the WWF mm-hmm. back in the day. We even got mm-hmm. a Raw after WrestleMania. Ooh, that's not that's not a joke. Um, so I found this card from April twelfth, nineteen ninety three. Uh, Mad Mike was a fresh 10 years old. <laughs> so uh, the matches, Friar Ferguson defeated Chris Duffy. What the fuck? Remember, it was Raw in 93. Mm-hmm. Dude, no competition. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Papa Shango <laughs> defeated Scott Taylor. Tatanka defeated Von Cruz, who is actually Big Vito. These were these were the big wow. days. Hey, I got to film Big Vito a couple weeks ago. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he asked, Big Vito asked me if I could use some table space. <laughs> if he could use some table space. Big I'm Vito like, Big me. Vito, you can do whatever the hell you want. I just need this camera space over here. You're like, you 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 I'm cool with you, Big Vito. All right. So uh, the, the main event of the show, hot main event. Scott Steiner defeated IRS by DQ. Well, that was a terrible <laughs> and, card. Well, no, and the two dark matches, Bret Hart defeated Razor Ramon, and The Undertaker defeated Giant Gonzalez by DQ. So how do you have such a terrible show, and then, hey, here's some good matches? Uh, it was, I believe this was the Raw right after <laughs> WrestleMania 9. I found some more MSG footage. This is the part where we lift you up. I don't I don't think we got that on footage. No, we were would, going down the down like we we're funneling out the concourse yeah we we're funneling out the concourse <laughs> there was a lot that happened i i think i had i don't even know what i was no i think on. this is when we lift him up oh uh, not there's the cl- not the clip it, i there's have that clip of oh. his sign in dennis gregory's bed in central park <laughs> <laughs> yeah we found like just like cardboard somebody was sleeping on and we we're like look dennis gregory is here i, I and read... then you signed it yeah, yeah. yeah. don't you wish there was facebook back there where you could tag them on facebook like hey we found your bed i know there. right I, I, wrote, we... I wrote bum on it in sharpie and signed it it was it was a homeless guy's bed too oh boy <laughs> this was 11 was years I, ago was my doing? god 
We were we were wild and young. We boy. Oh my Shit. god, remember that was the NXT theme song? Yeah, I know. <laughs> we were wild and young. Hey, yeah. hey Sorg. Oh. Huh. Uh I got an email. You got an email. Now, yeah, we we used to, used to get emails all the time on this yeah. show, like all the time. Like it yeah. was almost the primary communication that we had for this show uh, before Facebook chat was a thing. It, it was literally uh, Sorg didn't have to write a rundown for the show because the emailers. Were oh just yeah, like, we would. About. Yeah, we would just do the show to the emails. So so you dug up an email here. Oh no, I I received it fresh. You, you received it fresh, fresh from fresh. February eighth, two thousand fourteen. Oh jeez. Uh huh. All right, and um, I'm going to do this in the style that it was done back in the day. Oh no. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey! It's me. It's me. It's former fan of the year, Big PPC. <laughs> Why the fuck did we do this again? <laughs> I don't know. There's something about the way you wrote his emails, and we're like, it I, needs like a Brit, like a, a Russian accent or something, I, I, right? I think that was just LB trying to do different ways to read everyone's email. Yeah, because we were reading a lot of email. Uh huh. Um, Probably right, too so, much. And, and soon to be fan of the year again, possibly. Happy to be a part of the Mayhem Nation once again. Yes, yes, yes. D. Brian just as over as last summer. All right. Holy shit, the Shield versus the Wyatts doesn't get much better than this. Hope they don't blow it at Chamber. <laughs> wow, this is all right. CM Punk takes his ball and goes home. Good for him. Hope he and AJ enjoy their weekend together. Everyone deserves a little time off. Cena could learn from this. He was a prophet. He was a prophet, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so who else is getting the network? I sure am. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan for nine ninety nine. <laughs> well, I wish. By the way, more... I want to point out that's twenty fourteen nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably about fifteen bucks now. Uh, while I wish there was more time in the day to watch the network, or we had this when I was, it's it not working, parent. But oh well. Yes, we just read these verbatim. <laughs> TNA is still doing what it's doing. Bringing on MVP inserted and Hogan and Sting removed. That's a start. Uh, no, no punctuation at all. It may be too late to save TNA, but maybe, just maybe, this new younger crop of talent there may just be a good start. Wait, what was that young crop of talent in 2014? I'm, I'm kind of curious sure, where they're, they're at probably, now. Probably, they're probably all on Raw right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to SmackDown's roster right now. Yeah. Uh, Chikara is back. Exciting times for them. Hope to see more in the future. I enjoyed National Pro Wrestling Day. National Pro Wrestling Day? There it is. (laughs) ROH, not quite the same momentum they had last year, but still doing their thing. And a must to watch when you can. Okay, now we had some questions. I feel like we should just answer these questions as it was right now. Okay, let's do it. All right. Uh, Cesaro, Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville, Big E. Who will be the next breakout to main event from NXT? <laughs> Cesaro. Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> that, that Neville guy is pretty good. Well, no, I, I think these guys had already been breakouts. I think he was asking who would be the next breakout star from NXT. So that's a question we can still answer now. Well, let's see. Neville is an AEW. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sammy Zayn. What, what is Sammy doing right now? Just other than uh, dancing he's, behind. He's, he's a, managing Cesaro. Hey, he's managing, he's Cesaro, managing Cesaro, Cesaro and Nakamura. And Nakamura. Yeah. Oh, okay. And pissing off Braun Strowman on a weekly basis. Mm-hmm. He's still getting his ass kicked on a weekly basis. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Poor Sammy. But you uh, know, big, but in a good way. Okay. Hey, his, yeah. Biggie, Biggie's yeah. doing okay. His checks yeah. are still clearing, so he's, he's doing <laughs> fine. Yeah. I'm still waiting for that Big E uh, WWE title push. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I mm-hmm. wish. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, what will you watch first on network? Legends House or some WCW pay-per-views from me? Oh, God, I WCW forgot WCW Legends. pay-per-views. I forgot Legends House. And we interviewed that guy that worked on Legends House. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, we, we, you got to go back in the archives. There are some stories. There you go. Go, go look up. Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Um, type in Indie Mayhem Show uh, uh, Legends House. And uh, there's a great... I think he... Did he also work on... I might be confusing him with Van Wagner. 
because there was there was another guy. No, that... Van Wagner was the one that worked on Legends House. Really? Was it? I'm pretty sure. Okay, because mm-hmm. he's also the one that we asked about Trump, yep. and he gave his real answer off air. Oh, <laughs> oh, he sure did. Oh boy, he sure did. What? Well, uh, just just everything you think. It's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, because he worked on The Apprentice. Uh, yeah. Well, All right. Yeah. Uh, so hold on. I, just, I guess I got to finish off the email. Take till next time. Take care, Mayhem Crew and Mayhem Nation. It's me. It's me. It's Big BBC sent from my iPhone. <laughs> from my iPhone. That's awesome. Oh, jeez. And by the way, we did PodCamp ads with uh, Stoke Monkey. Just so this is back uh, PodCamp three and oh eight. Just so, just so Ronnie can get a visual of what the Stoke Monkey thing was about. In 08. In 08, yes. There How you go. That's... I have the Stoke Monkey head in the studio. So. Um, because there was, a, there was a cutoff on things that we keep in the studio. Guys, I've seen didn't this make before. It. You've seen this before? I've seen Stoke Monkey before. Oh, no. I thought we brought it in once. In my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I've seen that thing before. Really? Yeah. You probably some some of our multiple videos that we put out over the years. You probably saw one. What I just I... I Justine had it on because she probably had the most uh the most wide wide casting net with it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm starting to have flashbacks thinking, what if I actually did watch this show like <laughs> This is where it comes around, right? Like, yeah. This is where this turns into just one big Black Mirror episode. I've seen this. Where... <laughs> no, I've I've seen that fucking monkey before. Wait, wait a minute. Son of a Wait bitch. a minute. Was I a fan of this podcast 10 years ago? I think I was. <laughs> I, think I, I think I was well, a fan of this podcast I mean... 10 years ago. And I was doing eFeds 10 years ago. Okay. Does anybody so else remember I. eFeds? He's no, gonna be like, like, We've been having some conversations about eFeds can on we, here. Can we like have like a full-on conversation? He's going to be e-fed. like, what? <laughs> shit, you interviewed me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Sorg, there's a Holy good way to check. What's... See if Ronnie is a friend of us on MySpace. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, there's I, a possibility. MySpace is still active. I bet we can figure that Hold out. Hold on. I'm typing in some MySpace. I don't know if I want to do this as part of the show, but I, oh God. I don't, I just feel like I'm having Sorg, really bad it, flashbacks it, it, right now. Just having Sorg, real bad deja vu. Like, in the past, yeah. If, oh, Sorg, if you can get into the main show, Everything just came MySpace, full circle in one Stoke monkey. Sorg, <laughs> Sorg, wait, it was MySpace? Stoke, wait, 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 wait. It was Stoke Monkey that triggered you. It was like, it's yeah, like, it's like Kill Bill. Whenever like you know, Stoke Monkey comes, he's like, <laughs> and we just have to zoom real close into his eyes. Oh, oh God! Again. Oh, give me that look. <laughs> it just just fades Stoke Monkey in and out. No, like, oh, why did that stupid monkey trigger like <laughs> eleven years of like podcasting into my brain? Oh no! I think I've listened to this. Stuff. Like, I used to pass time by listening to I burned your I burned your program on a CD. <laughs> it I was just, you the whole time. <laughs> I, I off no. you're the guys I told to split it up. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel like I listen to the show. That's, that's I don't great. know if I'm gonna be able to log in because all my all the emails I have for MySpace are all mail city accounts that I don't have anymore. Good old days of oh, hotmail.com no. is what my Oh uh, no. We're we're so, gonna try this. Um, so yes. Again, MySpace. Read the most recent comment. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you no, on it right now? Before emails, there were people like me who left comments on the MySpace page. <laughs> oh God! No, oh, those are the good old days when you'd have your you top need, fifteen know, friends oh, on or MySpace. You know, another friend we didn't. Uh, Daniel Stevenson. He was a he was a good. good oh. uh, he was a good uh, fan of the Mayhem show. Who would chime in with. I still talk to him. He's my, he's really? a friend on Facebook and stuff. Who does he call him though? Uh, yeah, yeah, I only know code names. Machiavelli. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, my god. Machiavelli. Yeah. He was all. Yeah, he was. He was a pretty prominent too. I still so, talk to him on Twitter and and uh, and stuff. I can't get into it, but I, you can still go to myspace.com slash wrestling mayhem show. <laughs> I'm, your, I'm trying to see. I'm, I'm trying to load it and see if it has that kind of stuff. But I mean, they, they changed MySpace um, a few years ago, yeah, like pretty drastically, and like yeah. stuff is there. Yeah, the eight. I'm what? surprised it's still a thing, though. That's the yeah. There, I mean, literally, there's like Chess Flexor signing the pizza at <laughs> Super st- Indy Seven. I still have that. 
Yeah, yeah, you do. You know, if you leave, <laughs> I left that uh, wrapped in a napkin in the in the hood or in the trunk of my Cavalier during the summer, and it it petrified. Really? But you still put it in the freezer, and you still have it. I, it's it's completely petrified, and I just have it in a bag. That's awesome. Oh man! Because it, it, nothing ever happened to like it got so hard, and like Peter just Kelly? completely what? petrified. Like I was like. <laughs> I'm like, look at this stuff. That's like, not good for pizza, though. Like, it makes well, you wonder, what do we eat? He didn't it's eat set, it afterwards. It was but... it sat in my trunk, in my hot trunk, because I had a black car for three months through that summer, hmm. and it whatever just. Did your car smell like pizza? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. You get in there and you're hungry. You're like, why does my car smell like, like fucking pizza? There's like a faint pizza. Why, is <laughs> why am I so hungry right now? Why can't I go for a slice on Broadway yeah. right now? Hey, hey, Sorg. Guess who's a friend of Guess who's a friend of ours on MySpace? Hmm. Jeremy Borash. <laughs> what? No shit. Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> oh no. What oh that? boy, this is great. This is this I, is. I also saw I Justine. What's that? I also saw I Justine. Where did, how do I even get the friends? I don't know how MySpace works anymore. <laughs> I went to connections. Connections. Oh, that's what friends are called oh. now. Oh jeez. Oh, there's a. There's there's, a uh. <laughs> I don't know. Any, all these all these people are, are wrestlers that are not in wrestling anymore. I'm just starting to fear for the idea of like it's just gonna pop up. Well, just like Ronnie Starks is gonna pop up. Yeah. And... It, it, what was what was your name on MySpace, Ronnie? It was Starks, but it was my shoot name for a while. But then I turned my uh, my MySpace into my uh, worker. Page. Justin Roberts was also a friend of ours. Yeah. How does this work? It's not loading. Sin Bodhi. Maybe because I'm on. Wait, Sin Bodhi. Yes, and Bodhi. That's weird because I just like did a show with him for the first time at the beginning of last year. <laughs> what? Matt Cross. Matt Maybe Cross. these are people who we were who we friended. Friended and then they accepted it. Yeah. 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 yeah likely. Likely. Uh, Tatanka. Tatanka. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> just definitely. Yeah, not a fake profile at all. <laughs> Morgan Webb. If 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 anyone. Oh no! You guys were not. You guys, everybody was not kind to Morgan Webb. She she was she was I a fine Webb. television host. I like Morgan Webb. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's been PA Juggalos. What's that? Western PA Juggalos. Oh, whatever happened to that site? The Iron Sheik. <laughs> Sheiky friend baby. Of friend of the show, the Iron Sheik. <laughs> gonna bring him in for a show. Like, literally. No, we can't. We can't. Probably can't anymore. Jeez. Jeez, big ugly bulldog. Is that Bubba? It might be. I'm, just, I'm, Bubba, so, I'm so trying to load these. Claudio Castagnoli. <laughs> Friend of the show. There you go. There you go. Well, I was trying to get an interview with those guys. That was Claudio. Mike Mizanin. Friend Mike, of the show. Mike Mizanin? Mike Mizanin. Friend of the Jeez. show. This is amazing. Man, MySpace was... We, we would get... We would get uh, show bookings for for our rap group and and <laughs> bookings for the wrestling mayhem. Show. I still pop for the rap group. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure indie wrestling. I'm sure indie wrestling worked the same way. Yeah. In those days, right? Mm-hmm. Did your first booking come through MySpace? It did. Yeah. <laughs> MySpace or MySpace Messenger. There you go. Yeah. Yep. That's all we, how we lived. Eddie Edwards. Eddie Edwards. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, this isn't. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Well, on that mo- on that on that point, <laughs> what did you guys learn? Malengo. What's that? There's Malengo. Malengo. I have to catch up with him. We haven't had lunch for a few months. Um. So, guys, what have you learned from this podcast? <laughs> What's your big lesson in 14 years? Apparently, Ronnie's been around for most of that 14 years. I we think just I discovered. Have. Like, holy shit! What did you <laughs> learn from your fever dream of the smoke monkey? Uh, well, I had nightmares to that goddamn monkey. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I saw its face, immediately I'm like, I've seen it before. There's, <laughs> there's no other monkey like it. No, it, no, 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 no. That that was it, guys. Like, it all came full circle today. <laughs> That's it. You know, I believe it was originally attached to a sleeping bag, and it's one of those things where it would wrap up into its own mouth, and that's I've how you stored it. I've always seen it attached to Will's I, head. So. I, yeah, I, was it was Will that brought it. I have no idea. So <laughs> I don't even know where it came from right now. <laughs> so, oh boy, uh, Chad, what did you learn? Boy, what didn't I learn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, you learn what it takes to get cheered at Madison Square Garden. I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess the the best thing to take away is uh, <laughs> man, what a small world. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Through through this podcast, like just just what a small world. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, yeah, you know, like I, I think uh, me and Sorg met because uh, uh, the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. Because mm-hmm. he went there, I went there. I met Will. Will was like, "Hey, come do this podcast wrestling thing." I was like, "Sure." Are we? Do, are we? Fort, all, are we all lasting? The the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. The Art Institute <laughs> is dead. Yes, it is yep. dead. Yep. But mayhem yeah. lives on. Mm-hmm. Fourteen years later, I'm, I'm still on. <laughs> I've come back on the show, and I, I, I film for Sidekick Media. There you go. At wrestling, at independent wrestling. Which at is, independent which, wrestling, which, which in and of itself is just crazy. Yeah, just uh-huh. it, it's just crazy. This is the like, lives that we've chosen. Like, like <laughs> I, I meet Will, and then through the wrestling mayhem show with Sorg, I, we would be going to indie shows to produce and film them and and uh including like devon dudley and guys like that right? yeah yeah <laughs> um i'm filming yeah I'm filming devon dudley and and the rev yeah like, yeah okay <laughs> sh- sure there was a uh, well, it was teddy kinda, long and i remember the pitch when you guys came on the show was like oh these are some guys that we do um our backyard wrestling with right which I think weren't you doing it in like the dorms at AIP? Yeah, like you were you're you're wrestling in the dorms of, at, at the Institute. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, like and you guys would cut promos on each other on the podcast. This is what the show used to be, <laughs> right? Oh, and, yeah. and everything that was the outlet. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was the outlet. So that was basically like a real efed, is what you're it saying. It kind of right? was, yeah. yeah. Basically, yeah. Except then we yeah. really hurt each other. Is <laughs> yeah. that one time I threw you on on those um, serving plates, metal plate warmers? Yeah, yeah. metal plate warmer yeah. things. What the yeah. Fuck? yeah, we had a ring. Yeah, we had a ring that one time. Yeah, yeah. So you had the ring at from a guy, from a guy yes. that had a ring. Okay, from, I mean, from, it was a pretty nice ring. Too. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. were uh, was there it one were, of those high spots rings. It, yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was better than a high spots ring. Oh, it was. A, it was a nice shit. ring. I don't know whatever happened to that ring. It was a high ring too. Like it yeah, was, yeah. It was a full size uh, ring. That's like, a good ring that we set up in my dad's nice, backyard. A nice canvas on it. Yes. That canvas didn't have any holes. It was no. That kid. Did, he had just, an apron to it and everything. Like it was nice. Did was, you slip the guy a couple hundred dollars and he was just like have fun? Uh no. He was just like I want a place to do something and I was already doing. We were already doing a. Um, backyard wrestling slash concert back at my dad's because my dad had like a couple acres nice so we're like let's just do this thing you had a big so, festival in your backyard yeah didn't you? it was called sword stock he pulled that yeah he pulled that's what that, that commercial was from pulled that moving truck in and set it up right, yep. in, the, right in the yard yep got it, got it. This, is, this is pretty sweet yeah yeah, yeah. that was the last time we ever did that that's so. that's like a, a kid's dream man it Set was. a wrestling ring up in your backyard you did like, some yeah. stuff and that's a precursor to every, that's a precursor to the uh, wrestling production uh, <laughs> yeah. empire. And the important thing is you guys survived your wrestling. Yes, so that's, yes. That's Nobody got severely hurt. I did. I did break a rib uh, when we were doing it before I met you guys because we were doing something yeah, and, and sure. it was an early iteration of this and it was like <laughs> like everybody dogpiled me. I felt a pop. I'm like, hey right, guys, I don't think I'm going. I don't think I'm doing this. <laughs> Doc, Doc Remedy went on to get trained. He, That's he right. Went. He went through the IWC school. He went, went through the school. Uh, had matches with a uh, uh, future Elias and Low, Dalton yeah. Castle and uh, tagged uh, tagged with Blue Collar Slaughter. Yeah, yeah. For a little while, R- rode in a Bronco. So I think I know Doc too. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you you probably were there refereeing. Do you remember no, uh, David, oh, no. David uh, Demira. David Pull up David a picture Demira. of Doc real David, quick. Yeah. For David me. Demira. David Demira. Uh, hold on. I got I got some here from uh, 2006 when he's hanging with Ray <laughs> Rowe. Yeah, pull hold up. on a second. <laughs> you do. I guarantee you know. By the way, apparently Sorg. Um, if I flip through this MySpace I remember, and I see if I see Ronnie in the background of one of these fucking pictures, you're going to. I remember <laughs> going to IWC when uh, when Dave was wrestling and he was wrestling Vegas and Vegas would kick him in the back and we would stand up and go kick him again. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you want me to kick him? I'm like, kick him in the back again. Uh, and then Vegas would kick him. We're like, ah, do it one more time. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Here, here's him. Sorg. With... There Sorg. you go. There's a picture. Apparently, we were friends with someone named. Colby Lewis on MySpace. Colby, he look that's that's way early. Though. Uh, he I, looks a yeah, lot. Yeah. I know, Doc. He 
He he, <laughs> looks, he he he's the one who he's the one when he was training he built the he built the rings. <laughs> Like all the stuff. He, he, no, he built the cage. He built the cage. He built the cage itself. And then he sure, Colby Lewis is Seth Rollins. He tore oh, his, uh... I did not know that. <laughs> and we were friends with him on MySpace. We were friends with him on MySpace. I also saw official SJK. Okay, that I makes, saw Joe well, and JD's sense. MySpace. Jeez, SJK makes sense. Mm. I saw King Frown's MySpace. Oh, King Frown. I still run into him him every once in a while, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. He pops wow. up. Just randomly. Like, Who was the guy that I used to feud with via voicemails? I don't remember. I think everybody. So. <laughs> no, but there was like someone specifically. All I know is he, I... I, I so he kept I, wanting me to go ran, to indie shows. I'm like, motherfucker, I, I randomly got an, I randomly got an update with all of our iTunes reviews. And re- realizing how much everybody hated Chachi on this show. Oh, yeah. Because he was so desperately negative. So <laughs> highly, <laughs> highly negative. And it was pretty, pretty crazy. Um, wow. Uh, as I look at my, my Facebook and the world is falling apart, apparently. Uh, so, uh, anyways, um, geez, what did I wow. learn? I think is I've known you turn? people forever. What the <laughs> shit? <laughs> Wow, my what did so, you learn, Mad Mike? I learned that my MySpace name was MySpace.com slash I underscore C underscore clearly underscore now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I see clearly. That's kinda that sounds almost like mine, but like it would belong to me. I I, I guess I got there first. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> Son of a well, bitch, that's why I couldn't use it. I had to corner Chad the Shad. So whenever I hit that, I was <laughs> yeah. like, I was like, you know what? I gotta just put this on everything. <laughs> yeah, this is me. This I gotta is corner me. the market. Wait, 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 before we go, we uh, Ronnie, or you gotta hear Chad the Shads and Doc Remedy's uh tag team. Please. Yes. Oh, I think that's worth oh, that's worth man. weekly mentioning. weekly features. The, the weekly we- features. The weekly features. It uh, drives me nuts because, because well it, uh, Katie Arquette comes out and that, that feature presentation like yeah. sound yeah. and you think is of the uh, weekly and features i think of david demira and weekly features because yeah. you Cause use we, it there well, and we always like well if we we always just let's just envision ourselves on like monday night raw <laughs> so so we would be the weekly features we'd be you know feature presentations every week yeah. so we yeah. were we were a uh a tag team we were we were chefs so we wore the checkered pants with the chef coats. There's pictures of this somewhere. <laughs> and then we had the you had the floppy hat or the paper hat. Yeah. And uh, we figured the best way to be introduced would be say somebody high caliber had their own chef mm-hmm. or chefs. Mm-hmm. So we would be making you know whatever. And then we could be faces or heels. It didn't matter. Mostly probably heels because we could throw flour in people's faces, <laughs> or you know we could bring like steaks down to the ring for the commentary to, to bribe. You know, sizzling like hot hot plates, sizzling hot plates of food, and uh, you know we could we could hit people with cookie sheets or whisks, you know, or, uh, or plate warmers or, pl- or plate warmers, <laughs> you know, that. like and if we ever went to have a valet, she would be like the server, yeah. mm-hmm. you know. Um, all our moves were like uh, like we had like the swinging things. the swinging sidewalks. The swinging sidewalk was. Um, the California blend after the, the vegetables <laughs> and our, our one of the elbows was like the fryer basket or the fryer baskets was a, like, like a lion tamer. We put them in the fryer baskets. Uh, <laughs> and you just, you name it, you know, uh, like your soup of the day or something. Like, <laughs> you, know, you just, you just had some real fun with it. Isn't there, um, what, didn't uh, one of you guys do a gazpacho con rana? Yeah, it was, yeah, something like that. We we came up with like a whole because we we were line cooks back then, mm-hmm. so we figured yeah we'll just wrestle as it'd be cool to wrestle as cooks, and we think that that would actually <laughs> the more I see it, I'm like man you could really that'd be pretty fun on yeah. the indie scene to just be dick chefs. <laughs> I mean you know we we got you know <laughs> hey you know there's it could there's, be resurrected oh, the other the other there, really good one there's a place one. for that I mean you know if you want to resurrect it. <laughs> The other really good one was uh, a uh, a Lucha Libre character called the Postmaster. In, <laughs> by the way, by the in, way, Remedy was in here describing the Postmaster. To, we to, love to the some Postmaster. People. Yes, you you'd have a, a you know an eagle style post office mask, you know, and you dress as a postal worker, and uh, <laughs> you would come out if you were a heel, you would come out and hand everybody bills or junk mail. 
you know, ah, here you go. Here's a bunch of ads. And you just throw them. Or, yeah, if you were face, you'd have like paychecks written out or something. Like, yeah, here, here's some good mail. That's awesome. Um, and it, your your move, you could, uh, your finisher was a top rope elbow, but it was called the postage stamp or air, air mail. Because <laughs> when you go up, you would take out stamps and lick them and put them on your elbow. And then deliver the elbow. I think this is before uh, we had. Uh, stickers. I, you would you would you would beat everybody with a small package. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only way you could pin people was was through small package. I, I remember doing remedy. I remember doing remedy would never work in WWE though, because all the pay per views would be on Sundays and he would <laughs> they never work, work on, on Sundays. Sundays yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. Oh, what was it? Oh, it, if uh, if it was a big guy, you'd put more postage on. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. you try to like give him the German or something. You'd be like, oh, you got to get out, <laughs> got to get out more stamps. You know, or yeah, elbows. We were you watching know. a lot of Chikara around then. More, <laughs> like uh, like one like a, fl- a flying crossbody was like next day air or something like that. Jeez. Like it was just somebody you could have fun with. Mm-hmm. We, we all love just giving fans bills and junk mail. Yeah, like coming out like here's a bunch of junk mail. Ah, everybody hates junk mail. Sounds to me like the sneeze resurrected. <laughs> uh, from the chat, Bobby FJ Town is in there. Get in your car, Bobby. Uh, Learn that he <laughs> uh, he met some of uh, his best friends through this show and uh, Love yeah. Mayhem Mania. So much uh, more over the years, and as all caps, Sorg needs to release the no holds barred footage. I want to yes, see Sorg. it. There was uh... Sorg release the Snyder cut. The Snyder <laughs> cut. Get it? Get ah, it? Get it? His Get name's it? Snyder. Yeah. Also, I have too many Funko Pops. Yes. Um, no, they, they did a commentary track for No Holds Barred. We rented the theater in Dormont uh, to do this, and uh, and. Had some fun there. I, I think so. we should also pick another <laughs> no movie. Like, movie yeah. Yeah. I was Sorg, there. <laughs> we need to do another running commentary track. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But for um, Boone the Bounty Hunter. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Boone the Bounty Hunter. It was the best movie. I own two copies. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two copies. Why do you have two copies? Wait, because I bought, wait, the, digi- I bought yeah, the digital you- and I got the DVD from Walmart. One for Chad, home and one for the car. The Bounty <laughs> I, I have not seen it. No. Oh. <laughs> So I would be this, perfect to actually sit and watch it. It's this okay. I never watched Die Hard, so. Also sad. The Marine Six. Oh, jeez. The Marine Six. The Marine six. Are we up to six? The, yeah, we are up to the six. Mar- there's uh, there's the Marine one inning. Marine movie available on, like, Showtime On Demand. Mm-hmm. I th- and it's the one with Dean Ambrose. <laughs> oh, what? That's a Marine? Everybody was in the Marine event. Yeah. <laughs> or, or maybe it was um, The Condemned. Yeah, no, that's Randy too. Orton. Oh, no, no, it's behind enemy lines. No. No, 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 that's Ken Anderson. No, Dean Ambrose no, Dean was Ambr- Dean Ambrose was in the, like, 12 rounds three. Oh, yeah. okay, maybe that's uh, it. Yeah. yeah, which was actually it, actually kind of good. So, it was, uh, we, we stuck, it was, it was a, a, a siege on a, on a police station. And he was trying to survive, and and he had twelve bullets or something. Speaking of the movies, that oh, Tina says he was in twelve rounds three. That's yeah, it. So it was, okay. I want to see that uh, the girl upstairs, that CM Punk movie. Yeah, I yeah. want to see that. I heard it's really good. Yeah, yeah, I've heard good things. All right, guys, uh, did everybody go? Did I get everybody? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think so. uh, this was oh, Tina really says she's still. She's still pushing for a mayhem West Coast. Yes, we need this needs to happen. I know producer Missy's been put been getting in my ear about trying to do something about like that. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can do this year. Uh, the only the only West I'm going so far is uh, uh, Phoenix and and L A. So I don't know if I'm getting to the uh, Northwest by chance, but we'll we'll figure something out. So, all right, guys, here's a here we go fourteen. Uh, and we're coming up on 700 episodes of this. Uh, I say we'll celebrate again when we get to seven in a, 700 in a different way, I'm sure. Um, but uh, thank you, everybody, for being <laughs> 12 rounds, three, 36 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, math puns. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you, Chad, for coming back. Even though ha- I see, happy to be here. Uh, I see you several times a month at the wrestling shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all the yeah. camera in your hand. Yeah. Yes. So I know you're, uh, let's see, you'll be doing, which one did I send you to? Oh, the one that just got announced with Rise. Yes. Where I'm telling you, hey, go 10 minutes down the road, please. <laughs> yes. go, go next door. Hey. Film this. Yeah. yeah, there's a Rise just got announced. They're going to be in Baldwin. 
Uh, so very close to Pittsburgh. So, um, yeah, super close. To uh, and, and some of us will be going to prospect pro wrestling that day as well. So a little bit, I mean, not really head to head since they're like an hour away from each other, but still, mm-hmm. um, some, uh, really good wrestling happening there. I forgot about the show because it wasn't on the calendar yet. Mm. And somebody's like, Oh, there's two wrestling shows that day. And I was like, who's this other show? And then they announced, I'm like, Oh yeah, that's right. I knew about that. So, um, a lot going on this week. Um, RWA, like I said, the 11th anniversary show uprising rises Friday night. So, uh, if you guys want to head down to Connellsville, Connellsville for that on Friday, um, and, uh, we'll, uh, uh, we'll have some fun there. And we'll, those will all be in, of course, recorded. Mad Mike, thank you so and, much. And also, yes. also check out uh, NXT UK Takeover this Saturday. This Saturday at like two, Sunday, Sunday. two, yeah, Sunday at two three p.m. Uh, we're supposed to be doing an indie mayhem show with Jacob Edwin around noon. I think uh, I need to get a just double check yeah. a confirmation on that. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like a fatal four way tag team ladder match. Nice. And uh, Piper Niven versus Kaylee Ray versus Tony Storm, which nice. should be smaller. Nice. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to all of that. Uh, so and I, I think I don't know if I've watched the UK live, so I might give that a shot. Uh, yeah, I haven't yeah. either. It's a so lot easier I, than I'm, Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I think I'm actually going to give it a shot because I don't care about football anymore. So <laughs> well, there's that. Uh, Ronnie, Ronnie's been a new addition this year to the show. Yeah, really, even though yeah, maybe he's been around the whole time, we're still figuring that out. Uh, it's possible. I'm still. I want to look through some more of these MySpace pictures and see if you're hanging out in the background. I, it's possible. Yeah. It really is. I mean, I'm I'm a little worried. <laughs> What's that, Ron, Mike? Ronnie is the guy. Like, if we're if we're looking MCU wise, Ronnie is the guy that Obadiah Stane yelled at. He was always in the background. He's just now coming to prominence. Deep cuts. If you've watched the uh, Homecoming and seen that cut together, yes. Uh huh. Man, <laughs> I, what a I've pull. secretly been what in the MCU. Thor this whole was time? able to pod yeah. this in a cave <laughs> with a bunch of scraps. There's been some fun situations. I did do the podcast from the parking lot in Detroit that one time this year. Mm -hmm. I remember when we podcasted from my apartment. Yeah, it's true. (laughs) And then Chachi ran off and said, I got to save Chad. Yep. Which which he, yeah, I got to find him. Which he did again recently. That's right, he did. He was just coming coming to pick me up. (laughs) He's like, I got to go find Chad. It's like, for this time, I'm sober and we're actually going somewhere. Yeah, he texted me. He's like, I haven't said this in 10 years, but I'm going to go save Chad. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, we're coherent! Yay! The bars don't close till 4 a.m. Huh? in New York." It was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> there needs to be another. Wait, there needs to be when another. You were running out to the Joker stair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Joker, the staircase. By the way, Mike, did you see? I don't know why I'm doing this on the show. Did you see the video of somebody from a, that was in the apartment right beside them while they were filming the dance yep. sequence? On I mean, the, is I that is exactly that the actual what? stairs they filmed on? Yeah, yeah. Get the fuck those out. ones, those ones that you threw a car seat down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's where a Joker was filmed. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they didn't look I'm, familiar. I'm, I'm reasonably sure. I'm God reasonably damn. sure. I'm like 85% sure on that. Yeah, if it's a... not that one, then I know exactly what That other one's pretty it straight. Is. Like I yeah, I threw a car seat that was in the, the trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's another there's another set of stairs that that is like that that's like six or seven blocks away from where I was. So it's either the ones right by my apartment or those ones. Mm-hmm. But either mm-hmm. way, I know exactly where that fucking is. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We should go visit and reenact it. Oh God, I, hey, I have I have been known to dress as the Joker. I get so. Doc Remedy to yell at the uh, manhole covers about the Rat King again. Yeah, <laughs> it was wild in Manhattan, man. <laughs> Mayhem in Manhattan. It absolutely was. We yeah. need a reunion tour. Uh, All right, guys. Thanks a lot. So this show doesn't last another 14 years. <laughs> this right, recording. And, uh, this, this be show. sure to download part two. Yes, part, part two, two and burn it to your CD, <laughs> yeah. uh, so you can listen to it in the car. And uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you, producer Missy, for t- looking for putting up with us. But I think he's been she's been photoshopping the whole time. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.